Hello! Good morning! How are you today? So this video is about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So for our review, you are going to determine the kind or type of factoring technique we can apply in each of the following polynomial. Then, you are going to find the factors. So for our first example, we have the polynomial x squared minus 100. What kind of factoring you are going to use in the given polynomial? Yes, that is under DOTS. And then, if you are going to find for the factors, the factors of x squared minus 100 are x minus 10 times x plus 10. Next, let us have 3x to the 5th power plus 15x squared. What kind of factoring technique are you going to use? Yes, that is under factoring polynomials with GCMF. And the factors of this are 3x squared times x cubed plus 5. Next, let us have x squared plus 4x plus 4. And this is under, yes, PST. And the factors of this are Correct, we have x plus 2 times x plus 2 or x plus 2 in quantity square. Next, let us have x squared minus 3x minus 18. The kind of factoring technique we are going to use is? Correct, we have quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1. And the factors of the given trinomial is or are? Correct, we have x minus 6 times x plus 3, or you may also have x plus 3 times x minus 6. And for the next example, we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. What kind of factoring technique are you going to use here? Correct, that is under quadratic trinomial where a is greater than 1. And the factors of this are 2x plus 1 times x plus 3, or maybe x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Okay. So how about this one? I have here again questions. And you're going to thumbs up if the given expression is already written in simplest form. And thumbs down if it is not. Okay. So that's why I have there the question simplest form or not. Okay. So I have here 2x over 3y. Is this written in the simplest form? Okay, so we have here thumbs up. Okay, next. We have 24x squared over 36x. Okay, so this is not written in simplest form. And then we have x squared minus 4x all over 2x minus 8. Thumbs up or happy face is acceptable. Yes, so you have here lonely face because it is not written in simplest form. Next, we have 2x squared plus 8 all over 3x plus 5. Yes, you have the happy face because this is already written in simplest form. Next, we have 4x plus 8y all over 12. You are correct because this is not written in simplest form. Next, we have x plus 5 over x minus 5. Is this written in simplest form? Correct. So that is written in simplest form. Is there any question? Hey, okay, how about this one? 3x minus 4 over 6x plus 5. Is this already written in simplest form? You're right. So it is already written in simplest form. Okay. Next, we have x minus 2 all over x squared minus 5x plus 6. You are correct. This is not written in simplest form because of the denominator. Okay, so since you are now 
uh, able to determine if the given expressions are already written in simplest forms. So let us now have the question, how can I simplify rational algebraic expressions? Okay? How are you going to simplify those expressions earlier that are not written in simplest form? For example, I have here x squared minus 25 all over x plus 5. Okay? So you have to take note of the numerator. Our numerator is under our topic last week about factoring techniques that x squared minus 25 is under DOTS. So therefore, if it is under DOTS, so you are going to factor out. And the factors of x squared minus 25 are x plus 5 times x minus 5. All over, since x plus 5 is not factorable or already prime, so you will have just to copy the denominator. Then after that, you are going to divide the common factors. Okay? So you are going to divide the common factors. So if you are going to divide same expression or same numbers, obviously, your answer is 1. So, that's why you can now write the simplify it in simplified form. So, the simplified form of x squared minus 25 all over x plus 5 is x minus 5. Okay? Is there any question? Next, let us have another example. We have b plus 1 all over b squared plus 4b plus 3. So, in this case... You have to take note of the numerator. Is the numerator still factorable? Yes, that is not factorable. How about the denominator? Yes, it is factorable. Because our denominator is under our topic before, under general trinomial or quadratic trinomial, where A is equal to 1. And since it is under the quadratic or general trinomial, you are going to factor out the denominator and the factors of the denominator are b plus 3 times b plus 1 and since as i have said the numerator is not factorable so you will just copy the numerator and then the next step is you are going to divide the common factors or using cancellation or by dividing so you are going to divide and since they are the same again so we have the quotient one so therefore our simplified form will be one over b plus three okay do you follow okay so there are things to remember for you to uh, simplify for you to say that algebraic expressions are already in simplest form. So, a rational algebraic expression is in simplest form when the numerator and the denominator have no common factor except 1. And for you to simplify RAE or rational algebraic expressions, number one, you are going to factor completely the numerator and denominator using the appropriate type of factoring. That's why earlier I have recalled about the different factoring techniques that we have before on our discussion. Next step, you are going to cancel out or divide the common factors. And then, you may now simplify the results, okay? But you have to take note that only factors are cancelled, not terms, okay? Because cancelling is equivalent to dividing the numerator and denominator by the same expression. Another thing is, you can also ask yourself, which is factorable? Is it the numerator, the denominator, both the numerator and the denominator, or whatever, or which of those two given? Then, another question you may ask to yourself is, what type of factoring technique should I use? So, that's why I told you that you have to master the different kinds of, or types of factoring techniques. And... What are the factors? Because if you mastered already the different factoring techniques, it is very easy for you to give the factors of the given 
polynomials. And which factors can we cancel out? But of course, again, we have to take note that only factors are cancelled, not terms. Okay? So, after that, you may now give the simplest form. Okay? So, I have here a simple activity and you are going to simplify the following rational expressions. So, you have to take note that none of the denominators is zero. Okay? So, the given is c squared minus 36 all over c plus 6. So, which is factorable? Is it the numerator or is it the denominator? Correct. It is the numerator. Next. Since the numerator is factorable, so the factors of the numerator are c minus 6 and blank. Correct. So, that is c plus 6. Therefore, the given is now equivalent to which of these two? Yes, the first one. And then, since it is equivalent to the first one, so which factors can be cancelled out? Correct. It is c plus 6. And since you already cancelled out the common factors, so which is now the simplest form? Yes, so we have here C minus 6, okay? So, congratulations, you're good. Keep it up. Next, let us have again the summary of our previous example. We have C squared minus 36 over C plus 6. The numerator is factorable as C minus 6 times C plus 6 all over C plus 6. Then, cancel out the common factor, so your simplest form is now again c minus 6 for our next example let us have x plus 3 all over x square minus 3x minus 18 which is factorable correct the denominator and then since the denominator is factorable so the factors of the denominator are x minus 6 and blank Correct, we have x plus 3. And then, the, the given is now equivalent to blank. So, is it the first one here on the left side or the second one here on the right side? Correct, it is the given on the left side. Next, which factors can be cancelled out? Correct, it is x plus 3. And since you cancelled out x plus 3, what is its simplest form? Is it x minus 6 or is it 1 over x minus 6? Correct, so your answer is 1 over x minus 6. So congrats again, you're good, keep it up. Okay, so to shorten... We have the given x plus 3 over x squared minus 2x minus 18. And we are going to factor out the denominator. Then cancel out or divide out the common factor for you to have the final answer. 1 over x minus 6. Okay. Any question? Okay. So that's all for this morning, for this day. And uh, again, do not uh, be ashamed to ask me questions. If you haven't understand the topic yet. So goodbye for now.